everybody, welcome to the High Path channel. If you're new, my name is Rosa. This is Mercy, one of our daughters, and we are a plant based family of seven. We are making a weeknight dinner tonight, and uh, I figured I'm going to take you along. So I'm feeling a little fally. I know our weather does not uh, reflect this fall season, but I feel like I would like to welcome fall a little bit sooner. Now, I guess our Daytime is pretty warm, but the nighttime and the early morning, it is pretty cold. So today we're going to be making some pasta. And of course, we're going to make it kind of fall-ish. We're going to use some pumpkin. Also, we're going to make some dessert. It's going to be really good. Let's get cooking. Today for our dinner, we are going to be using some jumbo shells and we're going to stuff it with a tofu ricotta. We're also going to be making a creamy pumpkin sauce to go with it. I think it's going to be lovely. I realized that I may have used a little bit too small of a pot to cook all of our shells in, but we'll make it work. We'll make do. I had this idea of making like a creamy pumpkin sauce for our stuffed shells. And we're gonna stuff our shells with some, um, like a tofu and spinach mix. It's gonna be really delicious. So I'm gonna start off with like some sauteed onions and garlic, and we're gonna mix some frozen spinach. This is gonna be for our uh, stuffing for all of our shells. And then once that's done, once the pasta is done, we can stuff it in and then make a delicious, really easy pumpkin creamy sauce. We're going to use canned pumpkin puree and some coconut milk. And I've got some leftover diced tomatoes. I figured I'm just going to add that on in there as well. Whoa! Oopsie, so our pasta water, it kind of blew up a little bit on us. Um, it boiled out a little bit out of the pot that was covered. Um, I guess I shouldn't have covered it, but that is okay. Let's clean up and let's continue to make dinner. While I'm working on the stuffed shells, I am gonna, we're actually gonna do a very quick and delicious dessert. I have the idea of making some cranberry almond cookies. Uh, we have some dried cranberries. Can somebody go get that please? And then we also have some, yeah, just a regular cookie. We're gonna share this with our skate crew if we have enough. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have enough. So it's gonna be a nice little sweet treat for everybody. In this pot, I have some onions and some garlic that we're gonna saute with some grapeseed oil. Now the grapeseed oil is really nice because it is a neutral oil. There is no added flavors to it. I like to use this in mayo as well whenever we're making mayo. And it is more towards the alkaline side. Now we have two cranberries. One and a half cup. Here. One and a half cup cranberries, we do not have enough. In this cookie batter, we start off with one cup of coconut oil. We're then adding one and a half cups of coconut sugar. I'm preparing in the background some flax eggs. So I've got four tablespoons of flax eggs to eight tablespoons of water. Once it, you kind of let it set a little bit, it kind of congeals, making it sort of like an eggy, egg white texture, which holds everything together in the cookie. We are adding some spinach into our onions and garlic mixture here. So we're just going to kind of season and make this spinach mixture really nice and fragrant. And once this is done, we are going to add it to our tofu ricotta. We are making a ricotta sort of mixture out of tofu. Now this actually is, um, this is firm tofu, but we've frozen it. So it kind of has that texture of uh, like a different type of texture to, to tofu. It, it acts differently when you freeze it. So um, you could definitely use like silken tofu as well. We just use what we have and that's what we got. We got some salt in here, uh, some two blocks of tofu, and that's going to be blended up with some 
nutritional yeast. This is gonna add some delicious cheesy flavors. We've also got some onion powder going in. We don't need apple cider vinegar. No. Why not? And then I'm gonna add a little bit of herbage. So we're just gonna get some thyme as well. If you don't have a blender for this ricotta, you can definitely just use your hands and smush it up a little bit, that tofu mixture. Um, that will give you a little bit more of a chunkier ricotta mix. We also didn't add any liquid to this. If you want to, you could definitely add some, but when you blend it in the blender, it definitely liquefies it a little bit. We added some salt, and if you want a little bit of tang, you can add like some lemon juice or some vinegar as well. We are transferring our ricotta mixture into a bowl, which we can also mix our spinach, onions, and garlic mixture in there, making it a lot easier to stuff our shells with. Oh, we forgot to put the almond extract. Put that in there, quick. That smells very, very good. Here, put this. Okay. For our creamy pumpkin pasta sauce, we are gonna make it very simple. So in a bowl, we are going to put one can of pumpkin puree. We're then also going to add some coconut milk. You can add any milk you like, but coconut milk in a can, if you have a full fat coconut milk, it really makes it really nice and creamy some and more thick. Time of course, we're gonna season it up a little a bit, bit so I've got some salt in here. You can put some onions and garlic if you like, and then I'm adding some thyme in here as well. I am definitely going to be using a lot more thyme in our yeah, cooking. We're going to test it one. It's antibacterial, cauliflower, and helps broccoli. regulate blood pressure as well. There's a ton of different benefits to using thyme. Now we are going to add our leftover, maybe like a can of diced tomatoes in the sauce as well. Mercy was making faces because she tried the sauce and it was not salted enough so obviously she had to adjust to her taste buds. We're going to add a little bit more salt and we're going to mix this mixture together. It actually looks like some queso cheese that you dip the nacho chips in. It looks just like that because it's so brightly orange or yellow. We're adding a very thin layer first onto the very bottom of our baking dish here. I believe this is a nine by 13. So all the sauce is gonna go down on the bottom. We are going to now start stuffing our shells. I initially didn't want to make the stuffed shells, but I figured with a lot of hands, we could make this fast and efficient. So Grace and Mercy, the two sisters, are going to stuff every single shell. We're gonna layer it as well, and we're gonna cover it with extra sauce on the top. The first layer is done. We added some more sauce, and now it's time for the second layer of the stuffed shells. This was our very first cookie that just came out. It actually poofed up a lot more than I expected. We'll see what it looks like once it cools down a little bit. While the girls are making us our stuffed shells, I am working on Trey's dinner as well. We just got some roasted vegetables paired with some roasted crispy potatoes. All right, Isaiah, let's test this really quick. Ooh, that looks good. I give up after we stop. Hmm. Not bad. No. 
taste is good. I always like to do a test batch of our cookies, see what we need to adjust. The taste was definitely there, but we needed to flatten it down a little bit before we bake it. Alrighty, so our shells are ready to go. I am just going to clean up a little bit. We are going to top it off with the rest of the sauce that we have. And then it's time to get into the oven. I have some leftover coconut milk. I'm just gonna pour on the top as well. I don't want any of the, the pasta to be dry, so I wanna make sure it is coated at least. All right. That is ready to go into the oven. We're gonna bake it for about 20, 25 minutes, maybe at 400 degrees, just so that it can get toasty and nice and bubbly. You don't have a lot of time. It's time to get to cooking and eating because we have to go to the skate park. That's gonna have to, we want to. Okay, come put that in the oven, please. After Grace decorated our cookies beautifully, we're gonna bake these at 375 for about 10 minutes or so. Before we serve dinner, of course, we need to get everything cleaned up. So I am just washing some of our dishes, getting ready for dinner time. We don't have a dishwasher. We hand wash all of our dishes. We find that it gets way cleaner this way. So we've been doing this forever. We are transferring these almond cranberry cookies onto a cooling rack so it cools completely before we put them in a Tupperware to bring to our skate crew. We have maybe one more batch of cookies to go so I'm gonna complete making these cookies. I don't have enough cranberries to decorate the tops, but that is okay. We're just going to make these cookies and they have beautiful cranberries mixed inside of it. The house smells delicious. This, these almond cookies smell so good when it's baked. Come guys, you want to eat? Let's taste test, guys. Nice. Good job, Zaya. Let's taste test. Everyone is getting back from doing chores outside. We are going to eat and then we're going to go to the skate park. Mm. That's good, Isaiah. That sauce is really, really good. I don't really like it. Come. It's hot. You won't really. No, it's not. Looks hot. Yeah. It's warm. Yeah, my is just like fried it today. What do you think about it? It's delicious. Infinity. 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 What? Infinity. Infinity out of infinities. Ah. I like it. Excuse you, sir. I'm tasting. Wow. We gotta go. I'm probably not making it. I'm probably just gonna drink my drink. Oh, my son broke my lunchbox. You. So is it good, Emmanuel? Mm -hmm. It's good, huh? It's a big here. Who would you rather be? Is, is that ricotta is delicious. That spinach, oh. And then we roasted it at 425 convection on um, convection Fahrenheit. 425 convection. No, they're right. 
So we roasted this at 425 Fahrenheit convection. You can get all these crispy little pasta bits. It's so good, that texture difference. You should definitely make this. This is so easy. It was so, so delicious. It really, really is. Give this a shot. We thank you so much for joining us for dinner tonight. We hope that you subscribe if you're new. We will see you on the next video. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody. Come, Grace, come eat. <laughs> Take two. I forgot to try the cookie, is what Grace said. Okay, let's try a cookie. Which one should I try, Grady? Mm, the biggest cranberry. All right, you could have to you have to share with me. Mmm, these ones smell good too. Oh yeah, that's good. It's not too sweet. It's crispy, but it's soft on the inside. You could taste the almond. I think we could put a little bit more almond, but I can't the cranberries. Taste it. I can't. Needs more almond extract. Needs more almond extract. But the cranberries, they're perfect. Good job, Gray. Put some on top. Maybe mm. you didn't just add that. Okay, bye. bye. bye.